Hey folks, Ray from DCRamerica.com here. Today I'm going to go ahead and dig into live streaming on the new GoPro Hero 7 Black. I'm going to talk about what works, what doesn't work, what works kind of so-so, and what works kind of not so-so well. Um, basically, we'll run through all no like marketing fluff to start to, to finish. I'm going to do it in both two ways, both the Facebook way as well as the everything else way, which is kind of the way GoPro categorizes it um, from a live streaming standpoint. One caveat, you are going to go ahead and need some sort of Wi-Fi connectivity. You can create a Wi-Fi hotspot on your phone, you can connect to it the Wi-Fi hotspot, but you do need to be able to connect to Wi-Fi something in order for this entire thing to work. Also, you need a GoPro Hero 7 Black as well. Um, without this, you can't do anything either. So in order to get started, we'll jump right to the phone itself and I'll show you the back of the camera side by side and we'll kind of walk through that and then I'll actually show you some sample I shot uh, yesterday riding around town here live streaming as well and what it looks like on Facebook and then I'll show you what it looks like on YouTube as well in terms of getting that up and running uh, and out while riding a little bit faster on a, on a road bike. Oh, don't forget, if you haven't seen the 16 things to know about the GoPro Hero 7 Black, definitely check out that video up there. Uh, lots and lots of details and nuance and technical stuff there about how this works, like what works well, what doesn't work well, um, beyond just live streaming itself. So the first thing you do is go ahead and ensure that the camera is nearby and open up that GoPro app. Uh, once you have that open up, click on that middle button there to go into kind of the live preview option. Uh, you'll see down the bottom the usual options of like time lapse, time warp, video, uh, photo, and then on the left right hand side here, there's this live option. Uh, so you can see, of course, the preview of the camera itself. If I turn it like this, there we go. It's a little better preview option for you. Uh, you'll see setup live. And the bottom, there's an option right there uh, for Facebook. And if I tap it, you'll see Facebook or RTMP. Uh, so we'll start off with Facebook first. So click on setup live right there. And then what it's going to do is going to open up the Facebook uh, live interaction piece. So just give it a second for it to do this. It's going to ask you allow Facebook Live, so click on yes. Uh, this is sort of a bit of a two-part process. Then it wants to go ahead and sign into Facebook, so click on the uh, continue button right there. Now at this point you'll see basically you're on a Facebook web page here. You already signed into Facebook. If you haven't signed into Facebook on your phone through the web page side of it um, previously, you'll have to do that. Then just simply click continue. Next at the very top you'll see it's got select a Wi-Fi network. Now if it already has your saved Wi-Fi network in there, in my case the drop off one, I can just click on that and it's already connected. So it's going to go ahead and just finish connecting to that. Or you can choose a different Wi-Fi network or you can go ahead and enable basically your personal hotspot on this particular device as well. Um, then you'll see the option who to share it to. So this is on Facebook. Who do you want to share it to? Uh, friends, public, only me. In this case, I'm just going to do only me, but I'll show you what it looks like for the, the friends option in a second. Then you're going to give your stream a title. We're going to go and call this just Canal View. There we go. And then you'll see the resolution itself is only option of 720p is the highest and then below that 480p really don't do that to your friends folks it's it's not good and then here's an important option save a high-res version to the local um, the camera itself so this will save a 1080p version to your camera that way you have that for later on definitely do that and then go ahead and just simply click set up live stream uh, at this point it's basically going to go ahead and give you kind of a bit of a like live streaming tips page of things to do um, and you can either start streaming by pressing the button on the camera itself or you can go and press the live button here and you can put this away in your pocket and there's there's nothing more to do so if i click go live now i'm going to first show you what this looks like here so on the camera itself, one thing that you just may have noticed is it says ready now up top there, um, but it also goes ahead and it changed the view here to 1080p 60. Uh, it hyper smooth is enabled, so hyper smooth is on at all points in time, uh, which you'll notice it makes a really big difference in the live stream quality. Uh, we just press on go live, and then in a second there, there we go. It now shows live up there. You do not see a preview here though, so that's one thing to kind of keep in mind. No preview there. Um, you can go ahead and go view on Facebook if you want to though. Uh, so. This is showing this view right there. So I'm gonna put this off the side. And there we go. Now we can see the stream on Facebook on the page there. And you can see the comments coming in as well. And you can write comments back if you wanted to. Obviously, if this is in your pocket, you're not really gonna be able to do that. And there is no comments on the GoPro screen either, by the way. Uh, that's just simply shown there, um, showing you what your view is just sort of like normal. So you can see this right there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and now show you what a stream looked like from yesterday I did while riding along uh, to Facebook Live. I'm just trying out the GoPro Hero 7 live streaming, see how well it works across a simple ride across Amsterdam. Uh, it's as simple as that. I'll try it off on the selfie stick thing first here, and then we'll move it over to the front bike mount once we get towards the city part of it. Sound good? Yeah, let's go. On the bike. Just riding across uh, Vondel Park. Right now it's the GoPro Hero 7 Black. 
configured in uh, streams in 720p, even though it's recording at 1080p, which is the most it can do at Facebook Live in 720p. So, hopefully you can hear me. Not quite sure. I'll turn things around real quick. So just a bit of detail about what's going on here. At this point, I wasn't really talking very much. You can hear kind of like the gear shifting and stuff on the bike. But I am about to go through a building, which is kind of cool. Um, and so you're going to hear this uh, kind of musical quartet off the side as we get through it a portion of the way through. Uh, kind of impressive and neat to hear. And somebody commented later on in the comment section. Okay, the entire video had a live stream. It was about 12 minutes or so until I stopped it when I got to where I was going to. Uh, no problems in terms of signal dropout and actually kept the whole uh, stream until I was done riding. Okay, next I'm gonna go ahead and show you how the YouTube streaming works um, or how you can set up that for any sort of generic RTMP source. Uh, what RTMP is is basically a streaming protocol and technically it's what Facebook uses behind the scenes here. It's just that in the case of GoPro and Facebook, they made it easy for you with like a one button sort of push versus the rest of these options, you have to do it sort of manually. The one thing you will need is your RTMP uh, server name and your stream key. Um, so those two things, all streaming platforms or all platforms that support streaming have those. Uh, and if they have them as two separate lines, you just simply paste the key after the URL, squish them together and you're done. So what you have to do here for YouTube because the GoPro app doesn't actually support the ability to uh, show you like a separate line item for each one. Um, so anyways, what you'd see here, obviously I've got my GoPro, I've got the app up here. I'll go ahead and overlay right now what you're seeing on the app so you can actually see it from this far away. The bottom where the little Facebook icon is, you go ahead and just simply tap that and that changes to allow you to go between Facebook and RTMP. We're gonna select an RTMP option and then I go set up live and it goes back into kind of like a setup process here. Usually it'll take a couple seconds while it switches over um, the Wi-Fi from the camera to my hotspot. Just like before, you still need a hotspot of some sort, some sort of Wi-Fi signal to be able to go ahead and make this all work. Okay, here we go. By the way, worthwhile pointing out the audio you're hearing right now is from the GoPro over there. I didn't bring my mics out with me today for this one. Uh, it's a bit windy, actually a fair bit windy here. You can see like chunks of the tree falling off. So hopefully that sounds decent. At the top, you see connect to a network, drop off so that's already connected, we're good to go. And then we see enter your RTMP URL. So I'm gonna go ahead and just simply paste right there. I've already got saved. Uh, now in this case, I've already changed my YouTube R URL that you see there, my secret key that's in there. So it's already gone. You can reset it in your YouTube if you haven't done that before. Now, if you're not sure where to get this in YouTube, in the right-hand corner, click your little icon and then Creator Studio from there. In the left-hand side, go ahead and click on Live Streaming. Uh, that'll bring up the Live Streaming page, and if you scroll down in there, you can get to your server URL and your stream name and key. Just simply copy the stream name and key after the server URL and put them together as one, just like you see right here, and you're good to go. Uh, again, resolution 720p or 420p, the only options, despite the fact that YouTube supports like super high, you can 4K stream to YouTube if you want to. I will save a copy locally, and then I'll click on set up stream and it's basically ready to roll. Uh, so now on the camera itself right here, it just changed it from 4K to 1080, uh, 60 wide and it says ready. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna kind of get myself all ready and I'll press the go live button there and then we'll go live to YouTube. And now, unfortunately, unlike Facebook, there's really no like feedback, feedback that it's working. It's just simply you press and pray uh, because that's it. Like it's just, you hope for the best, you stick this in your pocket and awful ride. Uh, so yeah, here goes nothing. Okay, so just press the go live button now. Let's see if this is working. Uh, so this is the GoPro Hero 7 Black uh, live streaming to YouTube. Maybe. I have actually no idea if this is working right now. Uh, let's see. I've pressed it here. It says live there on that. I've gone this to here. Let's go ahead and look in YouTube. Uh, now, I won't be able to actually see your comments if you're actually live on YouTube right now, uh, but that's okay. I'm just kind of curious whether or not it's even, even working. If it is, I'm going to try to ride out here and see well this holds the signal. So with the GoPro Hero 7 Black, um, you are streaming on your cellular connectivity. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and basically just switch on. There we go. There's Wi-Fi there. Uh, so it's using Wi-Fi off my cell phone uh, and then going ahead and just uh, broadcasting. So I'd like you to look at the rowers real quick while I double check some stuff here and see if it's working. There we go. It shows 67 watching. So I am good to go. I'm going to put my phone in my back pocket here. I'm going to grab the other GoPro that's sitting there on this uh, stand that I was filming this whole intro with. There we go. 
But this, just, like, keep on watching these guys for a second, and then uh, off we'll go and do some riding and see how this looks. From a, um, I don't have that a little better, um, audio standpoint, so you're listening to audio from the GoPro Hero 7 Black, uh, no microphones or anything like that, and uh, stabilization is on, it only streams at 720p, uh, so that's one of the downsides here, so it doesn't probably look as clear, but hyper smooth is enabled, which is our stabilization, uh, so that may, should make it look uh, a fair bit nicer. Um, and of course, since you're probably asking why I have so many bike computers on there, uh, of course regular, so you know, but if you're more like on the GoPro side trying to figure things out, uh, it's because I'm doing power meter testing, so today, uh, first off, I hope that you can hear me. No feedback or way to see anything that you're saying. Uh, so, for two reasons. One, because I didn't bring my phone back for my phone. Um, and two, because even if I did, it probably wouldn't be too safe to like be talking, texting sort of thing uh, with you as, as I'm riding. So, um, I'm riding on, on all bicycle paths here. Uh, nice and quiet Sunday afternoon in Amsterdam. It's definitely windy. Um, yeah. Again, I don't know how well you can hear me or not hear me. I'll be interested to look at the comments later on and see and listen to the video myself. But it's definitely a very windy afternoon here. Uh, and you can see that in the trees there, uh, shrubs and stuff. And of course, when I change the camera's direction, it has to cancel out the audio and kind of refigure things out. So my guess is right now, this probably sounds all right. Probably sounds pretty good. And if I turn this around, my guess is it'll probably sound like crap for a couple seconds, and then we'll figure things out and be good again. So turn it around here. Here we go. Just gotta cancel out the wind noise. Hopefully by now it's decent sounding. I'd be curious to see what folks think like a quality standpoint. Is this watchable? Like is this something that's maybe you saw like some really cool action star? By the way, some of the small little cars here in uh, Amsterdam, they're everywhere. They're supposedly super expensive though. I haven't uh our neighbor has one there kind of neat, uh, but I think they're like many tens of thousands of dollars expensive. Um, so, you know, as I was saying, seriously, you know, for a while, like, now, watch it on. Okay, so my live stream just ended, just abruptly. In case you're curious what happens, if it ends for reasons you don't know why, like signal loss or who knows why, um, it just ended in my case. My guess is some sort of signal issue or cellular or Wi-Fi, I don't know why, but it's over. Um, the GoPro just simply stops, like just as if you press the stop recording button, and then it goes back to whatever mode you had prior to the 1080p mode for live streaming. So um, the 1080p local copy. So in my case, it went back to 4K, which is kind of how I knew that, uh, knew that it was all over. Okay, so there you go. As I said in my kind of overview video uh, about the GoPro Hero 7 Black, live streaming is cool, but it's really limited by that 720p connectivity. The fact that you can't do 1080p is definitely a bummer. Um, you see that in the clarity there. Yes, it looks decent, but it doesn't look awesome. Uh, and so that's kind of a bummer. And given that's just a limitation of your cellular connectivity, I don't see why GoPro isn't enabling that in the camera itself. Uh, it just kind of seems sort of obvious to me. Obviously, if your cellular connection doesn't support that from a speed standpoint or signal standpoint, then sure, 720 is, is the best you're going to get. But if your cellular connectivity is great, if you've got strong LTE, there's no reason why they can't be doing 1080p over that. Um, the RTMP options are nice for technical folks like myself and, and many of you as well, but I'm hoping we'll see a bit of a simplified setup for YouTube and some of the other platforms out there. Uh, so it's just easier to get this up and running as opposed to going ahead and have to jump through some of those hoops of copying URLs and merging it together and all that kind of stuff. GoPro has said on their site that they're working on that and kind of working on getting to that point in time. Uh, so I suspect we'll see that sooner rather than later. Anyways, if I found this interesting, go and that like button at the bottom there as well as the subscribe button. I got plenty more sports technology goodness coming up over the next couple weeks and you won't want to miss it. Have a good one.